Hey, what's up guys? This is Ashnok, showcase of Lilius in Arena. I'm gonna be uh, talking about her skills, showing you guys her stats, her gear, and the stats of the other heroes in the team, and I will be reviewing her at the same time. Here we go. This is on my second account on Global, and man, Lilius, I went all the way with the 15 skill ups on her. She's that amazing. So her skill number three deals damage against everyone. Dispels all debuffs from all allies. That is huge. You got 25% combat, you just push back. For the enemy team you've got damage that is based on the highest attacker on your team so if they have attack buff if they have greater attack buff you stack a bunch of attack on that hero and then you have lilius going after and she's gonna deal a ton of damage with her skill number three uh, so that is very cool and then you've got the combat she just increased for herself by 50 percent as well so you know she can follow up with skill number two or skill number one very nice and this is only on a four turn cooldown uh, her skill number two provoke the enemy for two turns this is huge this is on a four turn cooldown ignores effect resistance for 20 souls with the soul burn the thing is you are not at elemental disadvantage you can be using this versus ice as well uh, because it, it's like Faulkner Clury's skill number three. It's like Flan. Uh, you're not dealing damage. You don't have to worry about elemental disadvantage. And the barrier that she gives herself is pretty cool. So you can tank the incoming damage from the basic attack of the uh, hero. So later on in the battle, you could be using that versus like a Ruel of Light, high effect resistance. You just soul burn. Yeah, it's a uh, you know, game changing move if you use that at the right time. And then the skill number one calls a dual attack with a random ally. You know, a random ally will come in, dual attack, and if you pair her with some very dangerous heroes like Spectre Tenebria, uh, Charles skill one that goes into skill two, Ten uh, Spectre Tenebria with the skill three on cooldown attacks two targets, very dangerous. Uh, you know, top model Luluka, she might get that extra attack with her skill one. So there's quite a few options for you, uh, you know, different combos that you can use with Lilius that are quite devastating and more damage based on the, uh, well, Lilius's max health. So uh, let me talk about her stats in a second, but the memory imprint is actually really good. Top and back position gets attack percentage, so you can squeeze extra damage out of that, or you could have the imprint concentration uh, for more health on herself. So for the stats, right, I have 100% crit chance 299% crit damage to scale that skill 3 damage but the skill 1 still deals quite a bit of damage because it's based on her max health as well and a bit of her attack but yeah at 20.8k hp she uh she's pretty tanky you know a decent survivability with that setup and uh, she can deal more damage as well with uh, her skill number one so that's pretty cool so i have her with uh well right on the mark 200 speed uh, the 49% effectiveness, you know, is on the lower side. The portrait of the saviors is boosting her damage when the target has 50% HP or more. The thing is, there's multiple ways to build your Liliuses. Like, you can have her, like, very tanky, like, high health, uh, pretty good defense as well. Some, uh, some okay speed, uh, you know, high effectiveness, maybe even some high effect resistance. The thing is, there's really a lot of ways to build Lilius. Most of the time, you're not going to be finding Lilius with high crit chance and high crit damage. Uh, you're gonna find her with more health more defense and speed so it's at the right time you want her to go after bazaar the enemy's bazaar you want her to go after the enemies like uh, dizzy you want them to use their big skill that uh, you know put debuffs on your team so you can finally like cleanse all that and you know turn the tide of the battle with lilius so you know having crit chance and high crit damage on her that's an added plus you're going to be dealing damage on top of doing all the other stuff so yeah she can be a you know bigger threat on the board lilia seems to be optimal on a speed set and immunity set for artifacts you've got multiple different options i've seen them on adam and shield to increase the team survivability aureus is usually reserved for fallen cecilia and Krauss. Um, you could be wearing, you know, Hilag Lance or Steadfast Gatekeeper. If you want to potentially cut in a cleave or a uh, speed uh, single target burst setup team. So, yeah, those two artifacts are actually quite dangerous. And, uh, you know, you've got some other options. Bastion of Perlusia, if you want to boost the survivability of the highest attacker in your team. You could even uh, try Rise of a Monarch. So, yeah, uh, it's great that she's a knight because knight artifacts are very, very good. 
even Elbrus Ritual Sword, you know, if she's built for damage, that could amount for uh, some that extra bit of damage to really, uh, you know, take out someone or something like that. And now, for the stats of the other heroes that were in the team with Lilius, top model Luluka, Spectre Tenebria had Selene in there, also Holiday Euphine and Fallen Cecilia, General Pergis, and finally Ruel of Light. Okay, here we go. So of course I'm getting outsped here. Broman's gonna go. This could be uh, could be bad. So let's see here. We gotta deal with uh, top model Luluka. Oh man, uh, that that's that's really bad. That's really bad. I already lost someone. So let's clear that up and let's do something about it. So. Now we have greater attack buff on Holiday Euphine. She's got speed main stat boot, so not the highest of damage. Let's see what kind of numbers we can get out of Lilius with her skill number three. Okay. Look at that. 13,000 on uh, Celine. Very nice. Of course, if they had Aureus, if they had a Fawn CC for barrier. If they had Adam and Shield, you know, multiple layers of protection, we won't be dealing as much damage. But Lilius could be paired with, you know, uh, tank your heroes and have like one or two heroes that can deal some big damage in the team. Actually, let's go with the skill one. There we go. And like, already dealt uh, over 5,000 damage with her skill one. Now, Remnant, I'm gonna be able to outspeed him, I believe. And I'm just gonna provoke him with Lilius. So the cool thing about her skill too is that it's like Flan, it's like Faulkner, Clurry. You don't actually deal any damage. So you don't have to worry about elemental disadvantage. So that is actually huge. Gives a barrier for herself. It's a two turn provoke and you definitely uh, get a lot, a lot of value out of that. You know, uh, they are out of the equation for two turns. They cannot use their skills. If you're able to go before them and uh, you provoke them for two turns, it's definitely a game changer. Now on this one, Ceres is going. I mean, we don't have to worry about her debuffs here. Uh, Challenger Domino, she's gonna be, you know, uh, tanked by Ruel of Light. Now we're gonna have, you know, Holiday Euphine clear those debuffs and just, you know, uh, I mean, Ruel is gonna be tanking that. Of course, they have a bunch of combat she just boosting, so they, they're gonna have the whole team going here. But I, I brought the knight, you know, Fawn Cecilia, so uh, my Ruel sort of stays alive, but it, it's just too much damage, man, after the whole team. So she did pretty good considering the fact uh, this, like, the, the whole team went. No, I can clean, clean these debuffs with Holiday Euphine, but you could have done the same with your Lilius. But the problem is, you need an attack buff before that to, like, to really do a ton of damage. But Lilius, you don't have to build her this way. You don't need high crit damage. You know, you could be building her with uh, maybe high effectiveness. Maybe you're gonna be building her with high effect resistance and tanky. So yeah, now let's see the damage here. Of course, uh, she's stealthed, top model Luluka, so she's gonna be taking 50% less damage. But look at those numbers. Like, I was able to land on uh, Remnant Vod, like why not? But yeah, there's different ways to build your, your Lilius. You definitely don't have to uh, go with like, like I said, high crit damage, uh, super high speed, but like over time, you're probably gonna be uh, trying out different things. Um, yeah, I guess let's just go with skill one here. Boom. 7.6K, 7.6K, two burn from Holiday Euphine, but 7.6K was from Lilius. It was from her. So yeah, really nice. Now, here's a combo I wanted to do, but, you know, this Falconer clearly is not fast enough for that. So, I wanted Celine to, uh, you know, the enemy use a non-attack skill. Celine use Blink with her artifact, gets attack buff, and then, uh, voila, then Lilius can cleave with her skill number three because of the artifact of Celine. So, Celine, like, of course, takes out the highest attacker or deals at least damage to that hero, and it's great. Okay, so now I'm, uh... I'm gonna just work on Apocalypse Ravi, and then, you know, Celine can finish her off. But the thing is, if if 
the non-attack skill uh, here on the enemy team is not fast enough, then that whole plan goes out the window. Because now if I didn't have like top model Luluka to get the attack buff on herself, then Lilias wouldn't be able to cleave with her skill number three. But yes, there's a lot of uh, cool combos that you're able to do in the game. So here is going to be, uh, well, of course, it's, uh, it's Celine get, that gets uh, provoked and everything. So there goes Apocalypse Ravi. And really, like, uh, there, there's a lot of combos, you know, the, to make Lilius work. So it's, it's very cool. But now I, what I try to do is just bring heroes that are all quite dangerous, right? So to Spectre Denebria, if you call a dual attack with her, you know, she's going to attack two heroes. Selene deals quite a bit of damage. Uh, top model Luluka, of course, uh, you know, Lilius gets stunned here. Like, why not? But yeah, I wanted to go in there against a team that is uh, a bit more tanky to, to show you guys because I didn't want the team to, to just go down too quick. So here, yeah, we, we can start to call a dual attack and uh, I mean, Spectre Tenebria, she doesn't have attack buff, but you, like, you can see the raw power, you know, of those dual attacks. So the more heroes that you bring, you know, uh, in there, that are very deadly with their skill one. I could have brought Charles as well. Uh, definitely a great contender for that. And uh, yeah, Spectre Tenebra is definitely high on the list, you know, in terms of like deadliness with her skill number one with when her S3 is on cooldown. And the more targets go down, the more damage she dealt. It, it, it's, I mean, it's just great. So Celine here, top model Luka with the extra attack with her skill one. The possibility of the extra attack it's there, you know, so uh, could make up for some uh, some big burst damage. Let us know what you guys think about Lilius in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like. If you loved it, consider subscribing to the channel. Machinox, good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.